G'day Hammerheads, welcome back and today we've got another sciencey sort of episode for you and we're going to be looking at how hard should you press when you're drilling with one of these. So joining us today is this handsome little unit, the Bosch PBH2100 SRE. Nice little corded guy. And it's a pretty simple test today. Basically you're going to be drilling into some concrete out the back as usual using one of these drill bits, 12 millimeter, and uh, pressing, pressing on the drill to different degrees. So normally when I'm drilling with a rotary hammer, I normally just press just hard enough to stop the drill from actually bouncing back at you as it hammers. So, you know, if you've ever used one of these drills, you probably know the feeling as well. And in today's experiment, that is going to be the low pressure setting. So I'm just going to use this bathroom scale to demonstrate how hard the pressure is. So just the drill itself weighs about just over two kilos. And if I press kind of normally, it's going to be about four, yeah, something around there. So just a bit more than the weight of the drill itself. And my medium pressure is about 10 kilos worth. It's around there. Okay, nine. And my hard pressure is about that much. So it's around 20 kilos. So there you go. That's gonna be my low, medium and high pressure uh, scenarios. So using those three different pressures, I went and just drilled 12 by 130 mil into a big block of concrete out the back. So let's see how that goes. All right, well, I'll be a Wallaby's uncle. Averaging up four of those runs each, we ended up with the low pressure setting being 28.75 seconds, uh, the medium pressure being 27.66 seconds, and the high pressure being by far the fastest, 24.3 seconds. What? And that is really not the result I was expecting, you know? I expected hard pressure to drill slower because after all what you're basically doing is stopping that drill bit from rotating just because there's going to be so much friction and as we know as the mo if the motor's running slower the little hammer in there is hammering less hard so lower speed should mean less impact force as well so to try and work out what's going on i got out the trusty vibration meter which is this app here invh so this vibration meter does all three axes but for this test we're going to focus on the blue on the blue trace because that's the up and down motion settle down fellas and i just went and strapped that to the drill this is an old phone of course i don't use this one anymore all right, so here we go. We've got the phone strapped to the drill and drilling into the bit of concrete with a few different pressures. And here is our trace. So with a low pressure, let's take a look. All right, so it's trending around here. All right, so generally this now at steady state, it's just under 15-ish. Medium pressure, bit lower, a little bit lower there, sort of closer to maybe 13 or so. And the high pressure, not really steady state, big humps everywhere, but it's getting down below 10. It's sort of, on average, I'd say it's lower. And let's average up all of these numbers from those runs. The low pressure scenario averaged out to 11.23 meters per second squared. The medium pressure averaged out to 11.12 meters per second squared. And the high was the lowest again with 10.3 meters per second squared. So very interesting stuff. So pressing the hardest actually drilled the fastest because it resulted in the least vibration. So basically I think what's going on, it's a bit tricky to tell, but what I reckon is going on 
that hammering is transmitting more of the energy into the concrete and less of the energy is bouncing back up in form of vibration. So it seems like the dominant factor is not actually the motor slowing down, it's actually the more efficient transfer of energy through the drill bit into the concrete that's actually causing this to work better. I was really surprised by that. So does that mean you should press as hard as you can when you're using one of these things? Hell no. Honestly, I just go for light pressure. You know, sometimes I do press a bit harder, a bit more medium pressure when uh, the dust is really uh, clogging up a deep hole or something like that. But you know, I'm doing that for these speed tests. I don't want to stop drilling and pull the thing out. If you're just using it, go ahead and pull it out. Press as lightly as you can. As they always say, let the tool do the work. Because if you're pressing hard, I mean, it's tiring for you for, for starters. You might break your handle. You're definitely going to wear down your bits. You're definitely going to wear down your batteries if you've got a battery tool. And hell, you'll probably burn out the motor faster. Because as it's struggling with extra friction, you're going to be just, you know, heating it up and causing all sorts of problems there. So how hard should you press? Not as hard as you can. In fact, probably as light as you can get away with. So this finding turned out pretty counterintuitive to me. Uh, it does go counter to everything I have been taught about using a rotary hammer, but hey, I'm pretty sure, you know, pushing as hard as you can is not gonna be the answer there. But what it has told me is that there is a lot more to learn about these amazing tools, uh, how they work, and, you know, partly why they're so cool is because they do a bunch of different stuff. And, you know, I just really dig these things. So I'm gonna keep uh, doing this sort of stuff as well as normal reviews, keep nutting out exactly how they work. So stick around, you know, like and subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff, and uh, scratch you later. Thanks for watching, guys.